Got it this morning. Got a water leak again. Same as what happened last time right after I bought it. I don't know if I can get in to see this. There you go. Water sitting all over the floor. And let's see if we can figure out where it's coming from. Oh, yep. Yeah. Come from the wine garden. Same as before. You can see the water drips right there. No, dripping right down through there. I pulled the light down and the insulation up around the light, which is right next to the line guard uh, connector. Uh, insulation around the light was dry. And I pulled the screws out of the wine line connector, and of course, as you would expect, uh, it was full of water. And I'm going to stick my finger up inside of that. The insulation doesn't feel too bad, but the board definitely on top is wet. So I suspect the water is running down along the wire someplace, maybe. Okay, I pulled off solar panels on each side of the wine guard and I dropped the light on the inside and the wine guard uh, cover on the inside. Now I'm running the garden hose, the sprinkler head thing on it, and the water is running all the way around just the wine guard. You can see the water flowing on all sides of it. Now, I set a timer and I'll check back after a while and see if water's coming in. Okay, here's the inside. You can see I pulled down the, uh, the light cover. And we had some rain last night, and there was some water in the light cover here. In the wine guard, everything felt dry up top there this morning when I stuck when I pulled the light down. But I didn't see any water coming, so you can see there's rust on top of the light up there where the where it has rusted over time. It's probably been since uh, August when I reported it initially. And that kind of leads me to believe that maybe the wires, or the water's running down the wires. Let me see, I can't, I can't tell if there's any corrosion on the wires there. I'm gonna leave these hanging down and see if there's wire, water coming down through there. It's gonna drip down faster. But I got a bucket and a towel under here. I see a couple drops in there right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dry the bucket out. The towel here. Let's spread the towel back out again. And try to position this. I mean, those, that water drops in there might have been when I took the light down earlier. A few drops that were in the cap. Looks dry now. I feel like I'm pretty close to being centered where I can catch it. Alright, well. I'll see how it goes. Okay, well. That's 40 minutes so far, the sprinkler running over top of it here. And I can see water sitting all the way around it. And no drips on the inside yet. I'm going to take and move this to the uh, max fan cover, whatever you call this thing. And see if that makes any difference. I'm trying to get this position so it stays here.
kind of covering everything, but. I'm gonna move this down beside the Max Man once. All right, we'll try it there. See if that makes a difference. In my opinion, the only places that the water can be coming from are the Max Fan or the Wine Guard. The other other thing would be from the air conditioner way up there, but that's a long ways away. There's other fleets inside the bedroom that would have been leaking a lot too. We'll try this and see. On the lake, you can see it dripping right there in the wine guard hole in the ceiling. And see if I can see this. You can see it dripping off the bottom of the plywood underneath the wine guard roof there. So that's the problem. I've started uh, pulling the uh, the caulk off the uh, lower side or the the low side of the roof and as I do that there's water that runs out so it means that there's water that ran on top of the TPO sat inside inside of this and once it filled up then it started leaking that's why it took so long for it to start dripping. We will continue. Well, uh, we got all the caulking off. And I can look at the, looking at the back of this. You can see there's all kinds of condensation down here around the bottom. That's where water was sitting on top of the TPO, but underneath the wine guard, so it had been pooling down in there. That's why it took an hour and 15 minutes for the water to fill that cavity before it would start leaking inside. And you can kind of see on the TPO too how it's uh, soil stained down there in the bottom. Let's see if I can move this out of the way a little bit. You see it's soil stained down in here. And the water leak was up here. And you can see where all the sediment was settling in there. So that's where the water problem was. And if they would have taken off the wine guard like I asked them to when I took it in for warranty, I'm certain this never would have happened again.